All right, so it's getting late. I just tucked my kids into bed. Now I'm gonna fly halfway around the world. Come on, let's go. So I just got to Pearson International Airport. Let's go check in. All right, we're at the airport. Staying hydrated, about to board. Take off. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, so flight is over. Settling into the hotel. It has been a crazy long day and crazy long night. My flight departed Toronto at 1.20 a.m. last night, and it was 15 hours, I think a little bit over, and it landed at 5.20 a.m. local Taiwan time. So now I'm 12 hours offset from my family back home. I FaceTimed them over breakfast. And then we just jumped right into the day, which is what I wanted to do, but holy moly, crazy long day. So Aaron Fujiki, VP of Heroya, which is Herio's like high-tech Internet of Things branch, picked me up from the airport, super kind of him. Uh, we went out for breakfast at a buffet around the corner from their office. We got to know each other a bit, which is, was really fun. Then we went over to the Heroya offices in is it downtown Taipei, I guess? Somewhere like, it seems like downtown to me. And yeah, I got to see their brand new brewer, which was fantastic. Get a chance to hear a little bit about the history of Heroya, which was really interesting. And kind of hear about the background of how the company started and how it got to where it is. And it's really cool to see what they're doing and kind of their philosophy around some of their stuff. So I'm sure I'll release some more about that later on but we went for lunch and then they dropped me back off here at the hotel to kind of rest recuperate a little bit before dinner tonight and then i'm going to pack it in early try and get like a good sleep and hopefully reset to tomorrow so tomorrow we've got some very fun stuff going on number one first thing in the morning i'm gonna go see the mx cool mix cool guys so i'll show you some of that in a sec and check out their new Aries project. And then we're gonna check out some cafes where they are using Heroya equipment. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of filming at the Heroya offices. So stay tuned for that and we got more coming. Look at these people just eating breakfast in this Moss Burger down there. So cute. It's funny, look at all these bikes. So many bikes. First up for the day was a super quick visit to a company called Mix Cool. It's like the mother of all of the entire production. Their Aries project is one of a very few number of 83 millimeter conical single dosing grinders. Well, that's looking pretty good. Yeah. I got a chance to be hands-on with the grinder and make a couple great shots of espresso. Let's share this. After that, it was off to lunch to a more traditional Taiwanese tea restaurant that has brought in this kind of menu. And then of course, I'm gonna find a teapot to bring home to Sarah. After that, it was back to the Roy offices for some testing on their Karu Brewer, as well as a little bit of filming. All right, so day three here. And I was getting ready to leave the hotel room. Had a great night last night. Went down to the river. It was fun, a little rainy, but you know, it's typhoon season, so that's good. And heading to the Haroya offices soon. I've got a busy day here. It's gonna be a fun one because I'm doing a bunch of filming. I also get to meet uh, JQ, one of the head judges for the SCA, as well as some people who run Kama Coffee, a big chain here in Taiwan, they use the Samantha Brewer that's made by Heroya, the company that I came here to see. 
And so it should be a fun day. There might be some surprises along the way as well, but so far the trip has been really great. I actually really felt like I kicked the jet lag thing. Like first day, I stayed up after the flight all the way through. I didn't take a nap through the whole day. I stayed up, basically felt to my body like I was pulling an all-nighter. Went to bed at like 9.30 and I slept straight through. So, and then I was able to just jump into the day yesterday, fully refreshed and a little tired, but, and then it feels like the same thing today. So I'm actually about to walk to the Haroya HQ and man, the city is, it's beautiful. Like to me, it's beautiful. It's, it's like tight and lived in and bustling. Like people are so busy here, but they're so kind as well. And it's just a very lively city here in Taipei. Very fun. So yeah, so I'm excited to get the day started. So I got my mug, I'm ready to go. Let's do it. So I'm sitting here at Kama Coffee Roasters. Now Kama is one of the biggest chains of specialty coffee in Taiwan. I think it's something like 170 stores. So very cool spot to stop in at. We're actually at a new flagship store for them that opened about a year ago called The Boiler Room. Really cool what they're doing here. Obviously great coffee, big focus on specialty, but they are also doing a lot of really interesting stuff with like food and beer and I had a chance to enjoy some coffee cocktails where they're like mixing pour over with different spirits and then mixing like really nice specialty coffees with tea into these cool drinks that you know you get to try on this little plate. Super cool, super good. And I actually had a chance to meet the founder of the whole chain named Benny. Great, warm guy, very friendly and got a chance to ask him a couple questions about why he started Kama. So of course, I took that opportunity and I would love to introduce you very quickly to Benny. Uh, hello everybody, I'm Benny. I uh, come from Taiwan, Kama Cafe. Because when I started this company, I wanted to make the coffee the most new coffee. So our main focus is Sim Fresh. We use Sim Fresh to make the coffee. It's our whole co-branding. 所以我们在产品面我们讲究产品面新鲜 所以这就是我们希望能够讲究新鲜，所以也变成一个很特别的一个连锁体系，强现场烘焙的一个连锁体系。其实我们用沈门山最主要就是它的稳定度，那我们希望能够把咖啡的那个稳定度萃取出它最
machine at this cafe and I also had a chance to ask a few questions of James who is the founder. Specialty 我们把设定好我们为什么使用FSC是因为FSC应该是目前它的系统它的系统是全世界目前为止 OK,為什麼用Samesa呢? So that was James, my very quick visit to shooting the breeze here in Taipei City, Taiwan. Great coffee, great systems, I love it. One of the cool parts of the Shooting the Breeze story is that they actually started on some of the remote western Taiwanese islands and expanded to the mainland. Very cool. Then it was back to the Roy offices for some filming before going out for some incredible Japanese barbecue. Now this was probably one of my most memorable meals from the whole trip. Cooking this amazing meat over this kind of center grill in the table. Super cool. Then it was back to the hotel to rest for my big travel day tomorrow. All right, so it was a fantastic trip. I'm just here in the hotel before 5 a.m. here in Taipei. I got all my stuff ready to go. Lots of fun stuff uh, packing up for the road trip home. And uh, yeah, I got a quick stop over in, to in Tokyo. So I might do another little segment there uh, from the airport, just three hours or so. And, uh, and then I'm gonna be flying back home to Canada. So we'll see you there. Just got back to the car, getting ready to go home. I am ready to be home. I had a great time, but I'm looking forward to seeing my family, sleeping in my own bed. What a ride. Thank you, Taipei. So that was my trip to Taiwan. Thanks so much for following along on the journey with me. I'm sure I'm gonna find my way there again. So if you have a recommendation for next time, make sure you drop it in the comments and I'll put it on the list for sure. I really wanted to try Simple Kaffa and we just couldn't find the right time to make our way over there for a cup of coffee. And I didn't realize this, but the Weber Workshops team also has an office in Taipei. So I'll definitely be hitting that up next time as well. If there's anything else I should put on the list, 
drop it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got equipment reviews coming out all the time and a big thank you as well to the Heroya team for flying me out. We'll see you next time.